All right, it's 2021, April, and we are doing my lumbar flow exam. So you get a feel of how I do the lumbar exam uh, for our residency. And my Ryan with me today, he's gonna be our patient. The exam is not completely inclusive. It's not gonna run all SI and hip special tests, but we can include those as needed to help clear the other joints. Um, so we're gonna head to the hallway to start. We've uh, taken a good subjective exam. Now we're gonna see what's going on objectively. So, all right. So Ryan, if you could just walk down to the end of the hall and then back, or halfway down to the end of the hall and back. Okay. And then back this way. And throughout the exam, if you ever have any increase in your symptoms or pain, let me know, okay? I'm gonna have you walk down one more time. And back. Can you walk up on your toes, nice and high? Good. Can you walk on your heels? Good, stop right there. Can you place your feet a little bit apart? Can you do a nice low squat for me? Good, and back up. Excellent. Can you balance on one leg? <laughs> good. good, try that one more time. Very good, can you try the other leg? Very good, all right, then we'll head back into the room. And then if you could slip your shirt off for me, that would be great. Okay, and then I'm gonna have you face the doorway. Yep, good. This is where I just kind of like to look at posture from directly behind the patient. Sometimes I'll come to the side, just taking a look at Ryan's posture. Now we're gonna check out his range of motion. So, Ryan, can you keep your knees nice and straight just like they are? Can you bend down towards your toes, reaching forward? Yep. Good. And back up. And let's do that a few more times. Good. Any pain there? No. Good. All right, can you put your hands back here? Can you lean back towards me? Good. And back, back to straight, good. Let's do that a few more times. Yep, and again. How's that feel? Good. Okay, I'm gonna have you place your hands by your side. Can you lean straight to your right, as far as you can go? Good, and then the other way. Good. All right, then we can do a quadrant sign especially if there's any neurological signs during the uh, subjective exam. Now, if you place your right hand kind of in your back right pocket, just like that, and I want you to slide your hand down the back of your leg, kind of leaning back into the side, and then just hold that there. Good, any symptoms there? No. Okay, and then same thing on the left side. Yep, back into the left, and then hold. Perfect, just like that. And back up. Any symptoms there? No. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna have you take a seat on the table. All right, can you slide back a little bit? Your reflexes, go ahead, just look straight forward at the wall. Have you had your reflexes taken before? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm looking to get multiple consistent responses. <laughs> At each spot. Again, no more reflexes. All right, so then we'll do a dermatome exam. Okay. Um, I want you to close your eyes and let me know if this feels the same on both sides, okay? Okay. Yeah. Same or different? Same? Same. Okay. Same. 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 And open. Okay. And I like to combine strength and myotomes together. So what we'll do is I want you to place both my hands on each side of you. Can you lift your knee up into my hand? Hold it up there. Don't let me push down. Good. Lift this knee up. Good. Can you hold right there? Don't let me push down. Good. Pull your leg back into my hand. Don't let me straighten you. Good. Kick up. Hold. Pull back. 
Excellent. Can you bring your leg out to the side? Good. Can you hold it there? Don't let me twist you. Good. Can you pull in? Yep. Don't let me move you. Good. Go out. Hold. Pull in. Hold. Don't let me move you. Don't let me move you. Good. All right. Can you bend your feet up? Hold your feet up. Don't let me push down. Don't let me push down. Big toes up. Don't let me push down. Excellent. All right. I'm going to have you lie on your back next. Facing up. Facing up. Okay. So we're going to screen both hips. Start off, a lot of times we'll start off with a straight leg raise. So go ahead and just relax for me. Good. Relax for me. There you go. Excellent. Good. Checking out hip range of motion. Couple hip quick tests. Any pain with any of those? No. Any prior hip injuries, anything like that? Uh, no. Okay. Good, relax for me. Relax, there you go. <laughs> Good work. All right, rest, 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 there we go. Just moving your hip around. Good. Rest, rest, rest. Let your knee fall down towards the table. Good. All right. Bend this knee up. Sometimes I'll throw in the double knees to the chest. You grab your legs and you pull them towards your chest. Excellent. And rest. Just to see what they feel with that. You can always do repeated motions with that as well. All right. And then I think what we'll do is I'll get you on your left side first. Okay. okay. You make a straight line with your legs. Good. Nice and straight. Can you lift this leg up? Hold right there. Don't let me push down. Okay. Excellent. Good. I'm going to get you on your other side. Checking out your hip strength. Good. Straighten your legs out. Bring them back. Lift this leg up. Hold right there. Don't let me push down. Push, push, push. Good. All right, can we get you on your stomach? Okay, so for a knee bend or a assessment of quad flexibility, can you keep this leg straight? Can you raise it up towards the ceiling? Okay, straighten, straighten it out. Yep, hold there, don't let me push down. Good. Can we try that on this side? Don't let me push down. Very good. All right. And then we're going to work into some PAs. Bring the table up a little bit. Doing all right? Yep. All right. Getting close to the end. All right. Go ahead and just relax. Then I'm going to do some PA pressures. Kind of starting up at the Top of the lumbar spine, working my way down. Some central glides. Starting off with some lighter grades. Last couple increasing grades, threes and fours. Just looking to see if there's any pain. Seeing how stiff his back is. Doing okay so far? Yeah. I'm just gonna fold this over a little bit. Do a sacral thrust. Good. Then I can go off to each side. So I'll do some left unilaterals next. Any pain at any of these spots? No. 
Come down this side. Good. All right, and then after that, work my way into some palpation. So, you know, if you have any tenderness or pain with any of these spots. Right there. Right there, which side? The left. Left side. Right. Yeah. Okay. Anything on the rest of this right side? No. That's okay? Yep. Okay. How about here? Anything on the side? No. Right here. Is, that's yeah. the spot? Right above yeah. it, anything? Right, right there. A little yeah. bit there, too? Okay. So, we noted a spot there. I'll also, other areas I'll check. Right along his SI joints. Anything through there? No. Okay. Go through the glutes. Nothing through there. Nothing through the rest of that glute there? Nope. Okay, nothing on the sides. It's all right? Good. Maybe ticklish, but... All right, so after doing some palpating, if I wanted to do some extension um, evaluation, I might get Ryan up onto his elbows. Can you go up onto your forearms for me? Just kind of hang out there. What are you feeling in this position? Nothing. Nothing. All right, so then we can take things a step further. So once you place one hand here, place one hand here, and you push up towards the ceiling, keeping your pelvis on the table, perfect. And then back down. Okay, if we wanted to do repeated motions, we could put them through a set of those. Can we do about 10 of those nice and slow? Perfect. And then all the way down. How are you doing so far? Good. You can let me know if any of the pain you've had is getting better, same, or worse. Are you counting? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A couple more, I think. About the same. Yeah, that's good. So, both the pain's about the same. So, if he had a comparable sign, such as pain of bending forward, we could get you back up on your feet. Go ahead and stand back up. Go ahead and face the door. And then we could retest that to see what effect uh, his press ups had. So, can you reach down towards your toes? And back up. How's that feel? Good. All right. So, that concludes the flow of my lumbar exam. and. Hope you enjoyed.